Alright, here we're going to go through some of the mechanics and internals of the regular 3x3x3 Rubik's Cube. And uh, if you want to become a cuber, chances are you're going to be taking your cube apart a lot, so you're going to get used to doing this. Uh, but if you haven't, uh, you go ahead and follow along. It's always good to know uh, how something works if you want to if you want to mess with it. <coughs> uh, so I'm going to start disassembling mine. I'm going to pull out an edge first. And if you're using a regular store-bought Rubik's cube, uh, chances are uh, it's going to be much much tighter than these DIYs I have. So you might have to struggle a bit more pulling those pieces out, uh, or maybe get a screwdriver and pry them out. Also, um, you're going to want to, when you reassemble a cube, you're probably going to want to do it in a way uh, that is solved. So reassemble it's solved. Uh, because if you just throw it together randomly, uh, there's only a 1 in 12 chance that you're going to reassemble it in a solvable configuration. Like, for example, if I just put this piece back in, say I was putting it randomly, it went in backwards. There's no way to flip that one single edge, uh, short of removing it and putting it out and putting it back in again. So yeah, when you reassemble your cube, make sure you reassemble it solved or know what you're doing. So, there I popped out an edge. And these little cubies that are in here, uh, the little pieces are referred to as cubies. Uh, we have 12 edge pieces, like this. Uh, 8 corner pieces, like that. And the 6 spoke core, as you can see in there, with the centers. <clears throat> and as you can see, they all have these like nice little grooves and they fit into each other. It's pretty ingenious. I kind of like it. So, I'll just completely pull this thing apart. There you go. All the pieces and the six spoke core with centers. Move these aside for a sec, or not, whatever, just out of the way. Now one thing to note uh, about the 3x3 Rubik's Cube, and all odd number Rubik's Cubes, so the 5x5 as well, is that these centers are always in fixed position. They only are ever uh, like rotate. They never move relative to each other. So on a standard colored uh, Rubik's Cube, you always have white and yellow opposite. You always have blue and green opposite. Likewise, red and orange opposite. And that just comes as a helpful guide when uh, you're solving the Rubik's Cube. Uh, so yeah, also when you're solving the Rubik's Cube, you never want to think of it in terms of individual stickered faces because you'll never be able to manipulate just one of the individual stickered faces uh, short of maybe repainting it or restickering your cube. You always want to think of it in terms of cubies, that's these things, moving around the cube, moving around the centers and whatnot as they uh, kind of slide their way around and orbit. So that's how you want to think of a cube. Don't think of it in terms of like faces. So there you go. That's inside the Rubik's Cube. Uh, six bolt core with centers, eight corners, 12 edges. There you go. Now I gotta put this thing back together.